truth is unbelievable, but we must face it. Lean up in there. Uh, uh, all right, oh my God. Well, folks, we're here again with the great minds of what, what we call the country. I don't want to say Trinidad to the big one out here. Kairi. 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 I want you to learn that, eh? Now, gentlemen, introduce yourself and just start spitting fire because the truth has to be told. We live a life for too long, folks. We've been a lie all our lives. First time I get to know some of the truth was last Monday. And I thought I knew the truth. So stay tuned. Log on. Share the show. Share the show. Share the show till you can't share it no more till your fingers are hurt. Share the show. Chief. Greetings once again. Radio Land. I am Chief Menwam. You might be familiar by now. Chief Kalipuna. And well, as we are people of our word, we'll be back with you again to give a little, a bit of dissecting on the document that they were speaking about last week. Is the Autochthons Declaration of Kairi Indigenous Peoples. Right? So, they wanted to take, to take it slow last week, but this document... It really do have a slow to it. <laughs> Alright. Um, you will understand when we begin reading. So for all of you who are out in Radio Land, this document could be found on Google. Just Google Chief Minwab and you'll see all the stuff that pertains to us comes up. And you'll have a look at this document. You could read it for yourself. You could read a long while I read it. I'll be stopping where I think people might need a um an explanation. Yeah. And for the carry further as we go forward so right so all right i'll just give you the head the head of it well um chief mm. i will repeat again that where they could find that because um there's a friend of mine by the name of block uh, ex soldier and he i really forget it i didn't get the copy also drop off for him oh, okay. so if you could run that again one more time please you're typing in in google chief like normal spelling for chief c-h-i-c-h-i-e-f C -H -I -E -F. Min M I N is one word. Wab or Wab is W double -A, a B. You just type in that e easy like that in Google, press enter, and a bunch of stuff will come up. Alright? You'd see a Calameo document and you could click on it and it comes up. Right? So you could try it and you could come, you could read along as we go along. Alright? So it says at the beginning of the underlying stuff, it says Kairi indigenous peoples, autochthonous nation of Moors. Autochthons declaration regarding Kairi, misnomer, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Alright. We, the white indigenous autochthonous tribes of Kairi. So when we say white, last time when I was here, I was saying, do call yourself black. Don't call yourself Afro Trinidadian, don't call yourself a Trini, don't call yourself none of them things. People who look like me and you should call ourselves indigenous. Anytime it has to do with anything with status, you're always white. Go research what a free white person is on a land, and you'd see it has nothing to do with race at all. Right? It has to do with status, and in their commercial standing. White is one of the highest status, along with um, American Indian, Native Indian, um, and well, basically, they do have indigenous, really, they have that word there, but those are amongst the status that they recognize as the highest status, right? So, we, the white indigenous autochthonous tribes of Kairi, misnomer the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, forward slash common Republic Trinidad and, of Trinidad and Tobago, in care of one and three quarter mile mark, North Orpuch. Sangri Grande, we have the latitude and the longitude, the UTM easting and nothing. And this planet now called Earth, that wasn't the name before. Go research Zorukaya or Tiamat. Go research them things, they'll find out what was the planet before they call it Earth. 
of the more these are the different tribes that we integrated with there are some that is not mentioned here so we're not limited to the amount of tribes that are going to call here but these are some of uh who are amongst us and who are integrating with us and making treaties with us so we are recognized in a number of places across the planet right so we are call them by your um the, by the name you know them at so we out there we have some links in tanzania we have some links in uh, um well north america we have some links in where you call england and some caribbean countries in the china islands here so all these places carry different indigenous tribes and some of them you'll hear the name of them here all right so of the more or more i'll explain that in a few yamasi nespers nespers Mandan, Gichi, Kiowa, Creek, Seminole, Washita or Washitao, Chakta, Shoshone, Garifuna, who they you your history book called Caribs, Muscogee, Iroquois, Iroquois who give all the whole planet the style of governance and all that type of stuff was stolen from the seven Iroquois nations. Go research that. The Algonquin, Apalachi, Haichiti. Taino, Taino is who you call Arawaks. Um, Igbo, Chima tribes. In accord with the following, the 1931 Statute of Westminster. The links are there, so you could go check the links out and see what the Statute of Westminster in entails. And uh, you can have a digest on that for yourself. The 1778 Articles of Confederation and Perpetual Union, Art 6. 1812 Treaty of Ghent, 1794 J Treaty, 1836 Treaty of Marrakesh, which is Morocco, all recognized and valid treaties. Also Trinidad and Tobago UN membership since 1962. Constitution of the United States of America. If you want to know how that ties in, there's a whole other story. The 1948 Charter of the United Nations. The Pope's Apology to Indigenous Peoples, the link is there. The United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, for abbreviation is called Leon Drip. The link is there. The American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, the link is there as well. And the United Nations International Decade for People of African Descent, the link is there as well. I take a quick pause there just to explain that, um, the, um, decade that they have for people of african descent now the un is fully aware although we involve and we have correspondence back and forth with them the un is not indigenous people's friends mm. to be quite clear right they also are aware that no such people are called african people that exist on the planet to date as I was saying the last time we was here, I hope some of you all did your research. Go research the Afri Berber people of um, what is Tunisia today, uh, where Carthage was back then, and find out how they and that influence and that name took over the whole continent, continent that they call in Africa today. All right? So, people of African descent is a misnomer, is a trick as well, because in this decade, People who look like me and you supposed to know who we are and thus self-identify, right? So that was the, uh, the, the decade for people of African descent is about. And it is going to be over on the 23rd of December, 2023, right? So I'm moving forward now. So people of African descent, that we, the indigenous tribes, have the right to self-determination. You could go through the UNDRIP and you see the different articles there and it explicitly proclaims that indigenous people has the right to self-determination. This is also mandated by Pope Francis the first note, although we use what they what we use against them, they are not our friends. Right? Pope Francis the first apology to the indigenous peoples of the Americas, Pope Francis the first statement. I encourage, and this is quote, unquote, quote, unquote, so I'm just quoting him here. I encourage the downtrodden to change the world economic order because they are aware that all the riches on the planet and all the things that they 
considered to be wealth on the planet is stolen from the indigenous people people who look like me and you by and large right so that was mandated by him and this is where the nice part it comes in and it plays across because the elizabethan empire or the british empire whatever you want to call it they conquered or pillaged 98 percent of the world this is where this taking them down would be taking them down in the same style and fashion because this document could be reproduced in any place that elizabethan law exists right so we're going forward again this is ensured by the regina versus ja case ja is a, an abbreviation for john anthony hall the court call him that his friends call him more deep more deep is the first person on the planet to go up against regina and win regina is, regina is another name for elizabeth mary winsor mongbatten battenberg saxe coburg <laughs> again <laughs> regina is the next name for elizabeth Alexandra, Mary, Windsor, Mountbatten, Battenberg, Saxe, Coburg. So-called Elizabeth II. So-called called the Queen. But the Queen rightfully applies in its etymological state because Queen means whore, bitch, Prostitute. yard woman, prostitute. Tell all you she's a whore. Prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> well, the truth is unbelievable. The truth is unbelievable. unbelievable. <laughs> Sorry, the Queen. Right, so Ja, when it's, whenever you hear Ja or see Ja, we're not talking about His Imperial Jara, Majesty. Right. We're speaking about John Anthony Hall in the air reference to him. When I speak him, I speak him as more deep. Right, on the, May the 12th, 2011, a Suffolk Crown Court, first English grounds in Suffolk, London, England, defendant John Anthony Hall in the United Kingdom proved before English jury that Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor open brackets close brackets monk batten and battenberg and that's there because she stole those titles from people who look like me and you sax coburg as i said i hope you all went to do your research and check out where sax coburg come from and it leads back to romania black to vlad the impaler black to dracul so you understand where all the bloodletting and the blood drinking come from was not the rightful monarch and never was let me say that again Elizabeth II was not the rightful monarch and never was. He proved this in an English court, right? In front of a jury, right? Queen Elizabeth, come on, come on, Q, is not the rightful monarch and never was. They repeat it again. This was a two part argument. First, that Elizabeth knew both then and now, even though she dead 10 years now, this was, right? That she was crowned on a fake coronation stone instead of the real stone of destiny forward slash coronation stone which meant not only was she never properly crowned but secondly this is the most important part she was also knowingly and fraudulently conning the public and that is why she didn't want her coronation televised so when this case came to light Everything that was enacted by the Queen, anything that was operating under Elizabethan law, anything that was that, that was brought into an enactment by her legislature, is fraud. The name Trinidad and Tobago is fraud. The name Jamaica is fraud. The name Saint Lucia is fraud, and we, you get the picture, right? Therefore, the legal maxim is this: fraud voids and forward slash agreements, a contract. And an enactment ab initio ab initio is latin you could go research it for from the beginning so if it started off with fraud <clears throat> even the wrongest person you see on the news to commit the most heinous crime still not wrong according to the, because it started with fraud now that is not to say we condone no order and no natural law all we're saying is these people who claiming and claiming people to be criminals have no power to do so have no power to arrest anybody nothing of that sort and they know it right Continue. fraud voids a contract and agreement ab initio dos the trinidad and tobago republic act 1976 trinidad and tobago republic act 1976 all caps enacted by elizabeth ii order in council voided 
upon revelation of the Regina versus Scott Ja open and close brackets defendant number T20107746 1. That's the docket key, that's the number for the case. You could go check it out. And the jury verdict of May 12, 2011, from Crown Court at Suffolk, in, um, London, England, UK. Also, there was a follow up to this. And the Crown Office Procurator Fiscal's decision, open and close brackets, decision not to proceed against King of Scotland. Now, Mordeeb claimed the title as King of Scotland by defeating Elizabeth in a court of law. Very fairly. And it has to date not been overturned, not been challenged because it cannot be challenged. Wow. I'll carry you and I'll give you the explanation why. So this there's the docket there's a the reference number there. On this happened also on the September the 4th, 2017, from the Procurator's Fiscal's office. And the address is there 29 Chamber Street, Edinburgh, and the um code there. This now under maritime law, because we indigenous and we have standing at law, and because we are creditors and not debtors, right? Is accepted for value by us. That accepted for value is under maritime code UCC 3 401. You could go look it up, type in the direct code, and it see what it says UCC 3 402. Right? By Kairi Indigenous Peoples Autochthonous Nation of Moors. Moors. Right? And it's prima facie evidence. I sure plenty of you know what prima facie is. Right? Prima facie evidence follows the code UCC 1 202. You could go look that up. Of legal binding precedence, get this commercial binding fact and commercial binding adverse claim against Elizabeth Alexandra and her many titles, including the face one, fake ones, forward slash Elizabeth II, forward slash Elizabeth II, or in council, Her Majesty the Queen in right of the Commonwealth, Regina, the Crown, Sovereign American Crown Trust. All related corporations, including the corporation Trinidad and Tobago, registered in Washington, D.C. on Dun and Brad Street, and her agents, assigns, principals, councils, councils, trustees, representatives, seen or hidden, Her Majesty's Secret Service, heirs, descendants, ancestors, in accord with the Constitution, our Constitution, the Constitution of the Indigenous Peoples, Autochthonous Nation of Moors. Uniform Commercial Code, Unicitral, United Nation Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, the United Nations Charter, 1215 Magna Carta, 1688 English Bill of Rights, the United Nations Convention on the Civil and Political Rights, the United Nations Convention on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, and the United Nations Convention on Genocide. Make note, any action that impedes or tries to supersede or falsely assimilate the rights of indigenous people is tantamount and equal to genocide. We are an indigenous nation of Moors on this island, Kairi, Miss Nomadi, Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. We are not a corporation. We are not an artificial group. We are not a natural group or fictitious entity. Go in your Black's Law Dictionary and find out what a natural group is. Or fictitious entity or vessel under the general jurisdiction of the corporate government called the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. It in um, common and caps. Under the Trinidad and Tobago Shipping Act 50-10 and the Droga Act Chapter 50-707. And we give notice internationally, uni domestically, universally, multiversally via this de declaration that we deny corporate existence under reservation of all our rights inalienable and otherwise we declare that we are an indigenous autochthonous nation of this planet and we make this solemn declaration conscientiously knowing there's no belief in it here now knowing it to be true and that is the same force and effect as if made on the oath. The Jurat is the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. The link is there. The United Nations Convention on Economic and Social and Cultural Rights, Vienna Declaration on Program of Action, United Nations Charter, Article 55 and 56, 
Presidential Proclamation 7500, HJR 194, um, uh, Congress Resolution 26, S 1200, HJR, and that in brackets, Uniform Commercial Code. Check, check. So, this was done on the 7th of February this year of the Gregorian calendar, and I am Chief Nania Minwab. Kairi LB, registered copyright, trademark, the person responsible for voiding the fake powers on our island, Kairi. Right. So question time, and I know, I know this is question time for the for the um, public too, right? Simply breaking it down for those who don't understand, because you see you have all the links and all the numbers and all the sections to go to there, right? Simply. Seeing that Queen Elizabeth was in, was not crowned properly, and it was fraud, mm -hmm. it means to say that anything she did, including making China to become a republic, is fraud. fraud. Exactly, fraud, fraud so, voids a contract so at all, the issue. Our we we being a republic now uh -huh. with this constitution we have is a fraud. Fraud. Exactly. So everything now. Fraud. That is going on in China and Tobago fraud. is fraud. 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 Right? Fraud. In a nutshell, we live in, in a state that is fraud. 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 <laughs> the truth is unbelievable. The truth is unbelievable. Trinidad and Tobago is no. really not so, a real place. The Constitution yeah, yeah. and what the paper is right on. No. no. Queen Elizabeth is a fraud. 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 So no. she couldn't give us no. No right to become a republic in the first place. Fraud. Neither uh, Jamaica, neither Barbados, fraud, all this country. Fraud. Everything was fraud. fraud. <laughs> right? But she was a pirate. Fraud. fraud. Yeah. <laughs> well, she and a band of merry men. Right? Yeah. So which means this country that we live in. It right? ain't real. It ain't real. No. No, wait. The country real. The country is not Trinidad oh, yes. and Tobago. What is called the, um, the, the corporation. corporation? The corporation is not real. It's not real. It's fictitious, just like a word paper. Wow, you understand? I dare any legal person listening right now to challenge anything I now read and debunk it point for point. Yes. And they had ten days to do it after the seventh. They had a thirty-day extension after that. Silence is tacit and consent. So we're agreed. taking your calls right now. It's eight o'clock. The numbers are called two seven eight two zero zero nine. That's two seven eight two zero zero nine. We live in a fraud country, goes. I don't, I don't want to open up. Wow. <laughs> so I want to go back to the King of Scotland who got who got, who got crowned the king well when the Martin court against Queen Elizabeth under the same thing that the indigenous people was doing and he became the king of Scotland because you know they're the thief there too. Right. The Queen and them the thief there too. Yeah, definitely. Right? So we realize now, right? That the so-called rights that you claim to say have it, don't have it, but yet still you still have more rights than it, than if it's, than, than if you are an indigenous person, you have more rights than a person who born here and have a paper who is part of the the, what, the, 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 corporation. Called the corporation. Yeah. I need to get that word. Well, I want to give brain. you, I want to give the listening audience a quick update of what happened today. Go if ahead. You don't mind. So we had a um, we had a, 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 a court hearing today. So. Basically, any virtual court is not court. Go check your constitution, by the way. Right? Your constitution, in other words. Right? And one of our members had a, a prior issue before we did what we did here. He had a prior issue, and one of the days was the day for the hearing. But prior to all this, he gave them this document along with his statutory declaration. And um, the person who came to, the, to do the evaluation, she made a record that we indigenous and we supposed to be addressed a different way and that he's going to appear today this morning for 10 o'clock with his chief right she agreed they agree the documents went in we sat for three hours and no one came three hours turned into five hours and no one came but in between the three and the five hours we called the lady that we made the contact with now, the person we're speaking about who had the case is my chief of the South Central here, Chief Kalipuna, right? They've been messaging him via email since 
2019, right? So when he submit our nation documents along with his statutory declaration, and no one showed, he called the person who made the link with him, and she basically agreed to a contract that we'd appear and I'd appear with him and that kind of stuff. She said, um, this is her exact words. Mr. Kalipuna, they say they do have an email address for you. <laughs> since they emailing him since 2019, she said to him today that they say, and she said with that same tone, they say they do have an email for you. <laughs> you understand? It's because she knows it's pure rubbish. Right? And then, we give them an email and up to now, nothing. Right? So basically, this just to show you that the court is a game, just like a tennis court, a basketball court, a bank court, a post office court. All of them is courts where you play games. Right? And because they know the car pass true, none of the documents that was presented, they decide to run. Because they know they are fraud. They know that we know that they know that we know that they are fraud. <laughs> so all of us on the same level. Only you who sitting there are none the wiser because you choose to be none the wiser. So you could go ahead, Evie. I just wanted to give all that little insight of what um what was happening with an actual case that happened today. Sat and wait for them after they present the information and they can't challenge it. Go ahead, Kalipuna. Uh, yeah, let me make a point here. Because they knew that in the court they had to address me by my indigenous name or my indigenous appellation meaning who I am and not on the fictitious or the legal fiction name on the birth certificate which is not the me or anybody because they cannot put a date or a time when we came here we were always here what about the nine months when you were when you were in your mother's belly so when you're born or when the, what they call born when they came out from your mother and they give you that name that is not you that is not you you're the living being and they have legal they have legalese or the, over that which is on your board paper but not over you hence the reason why when you go into the court like what what would have happened today we want to know who this if it's a judge, we want to know who he is. If it's a male or a female, what is who are you? And what jurisdiction and what or powers you are? he operating under? Over flesh and blood. Who gave you that? Where you got that from? And these are the questions that they know they have to answer. In truth and in real time. And the problem, not the problem, the, the, the issue that we are having is, a, is about my daughter, who is indigenous. Okay? They have no jurisdiction over my daughter and myself. We are indigenous. Okay? This is what I want everybody to know. At this point in time, in this island we call Kairi, my indigenous daughter is three years old, whose document was done before she had a year. The government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, the corporation is saying that my daughter, flesh and blood, could only spend with her daddy only one day in the week on a Saturday from the hours of 8 o'clock in the morning and she has to be returned for 6 o'clock in the evening at the Londonville police station that way I have to get her this is happening now in real time on top of that the corporation is telling me an indigenous man that I have to pay the mother $350 which I don't pay and I am not paying let me say that again, which I don't pay and I am not paying. So they want to commit, but they're already committing genocide because they have no authority, no jurisdiction over indigenous people and their children. So, so just, imagine, just imagine your daughter, who they have no jurisdiction over, they are saying that she could only spend, only on a Saturday, from the hours of 8 o'clock, in the morning, which we call morning, we do like to say morning you know, because it sounds like morning, but, just, but for this to pass, 8 in the morning, and she must be returned for 6 o'clock at the Londonville police station. This is what your government is doing. Which is. To the indigenous people. Which is tantamount, as I explained to you before, to genocide. Right? So basically, this is what we're talking about now. 
once the uh, once the people like us wake up and realize and we're speaking to the armed forces especially we looking to educate you especially because truth be told you actually have the power use the one who enforcing the fraud right so you need now to check yourself because you look just like me we we don't want to argue with you because you are not the problem well not willfully by becoming knowledgeable and continuing then you become a part of the problem but from now we saying here what let's all have dialogue we could find out who's the common enemy and kick them out Liberty. which is the corporation right okay no i want to ask a question here Go ahead. right the document you guys presented it states plainly right that the corporation is a fraud it is exactly right right what do the, the indigenous people what do, does the indigenous people have to replace the corporation all right. Do you all have a, 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 a documents, a lo, lo, laws and bylaws, and how how if we get the corporation removed because we know there's fraud? If if today or tomorrow we say okay, to hell with the corporation, we indigenous, right? Now we have to find our own rules, regulations, and laws to govern our, the indigenous people by. So it can't be like a free fall. Everybody indigenous, everybody doing what they want. So talk to me. Excellent question. We already have our constitution. Our constitution is our guidelines, our laws, and our law basically is natural law. Right? And should, and not, not if the corporation going to move, it's going to be removed. It's just a matter of when. When the cor corporation is removed, we already functioning like a tribe. We already functioning like a separate entity. We already doing that already. It's just the matter of the amount of people that is involved. You wouldn't be seeing them like regular people or or, or, or um uh, how it put it uh, common people, right? So you wouldn't be seeing that. But this is why we came out now to spread the message further, so people could become enlightened and save their own selves. So you move the corporation. We already have our laws. We already have our constitution. We already have chiefs in place. Many of you in the listening audience might remember the village council style of governance. That was stolen from us. Eric Williams patterned that from the indigenous people who was here already. Right? So we already operating like a village council already. Every zone already has a chief. Right? So once the corporation is moved, the chiefs take over and we govern the land. Now, it might sound a bit wishful, but nothing could be further from the truth because guess what? Societies were set up based on violence and based on revolution. And then there were societies who people are speaking of still to date that was set up by what they call, what they would like to call divine inspiration. Basically what that is, is the most effective way to live without causing harm to anything or anyone around you right that's the indigenous people we are alive right so leaving a leaving a cooperative style we are living and living an indigenous style we are living is basically a solution to all your problems on your cooperation off your cooperation because some of you might not even be going to work but at the end of the day you're still partaking in cooperative things. You still have going to get your license renew, your birth paper. You're going to get your passport renew. So, once you get rid of these things, you change it, change it forever. You change it for good. And this is linked internationally. Oh, and Link that's the next thing too. This is not only us doing it. This is an international thing happening around the, the world, world. Science, simultaneously. At the same time. Yeah, simultaneously. So, so, so um, being an indigenous person means the corporation law, which is a fraud, right, can no, no longer uh, uh, appeal to you then. Appeal? Correct. <laughs> it never appeal to me before. So you don't have to pay parking tickets. You no, don't have to pay, pay no tickets. No. <laughs> you, are, you don't have to pay... Um, court, court, court no, fees. No, no, uh, no tickets. Indigenous people have a slogan. You want to hear it? Yeah. We accept all the benefits with no liability. Uh, we have a call. All right.
כל ה... כל אלייב. כן. speaking genocide against against the people of the country uh-huh. and nobody in South Africa can say anything this yep. man is still running the country today yep. why isn't he in jail so yep. because people so domesticated that yep. nobody no can say remove this man this man is crazy hmm. but at the end of the day I see it I seen as a condition and because as as have you said or go said he went to the bank and The people and them say remove the blasted muscle from all their face. Yeah. All their stuff. Had the muscle on their face and stand up watching people in the bank who coming in with all the masks. The programming real. Yeah, I tried. I even watching on the, on the, on the, even watching the comments on the, the, the program right now. And it has some people, they're still sleeping. Yeah. They're yeah. still sleeping. So I don't know. And I, they don't, don't want know. to be awake, you know. They don't want to be awake. No, they they will, like it. They will cost you for waking them up. Exactly. They will cost you, like your it, mother, so... your children, everybody. Don't wake up. <laughs> I will stay in this zone. You call that, you call that cognizant dissonance. That's like the people and them who are so controlled by religion and, and politics ah. and the education system. That is where all them things come in from. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for the call. Let me make a fast comment about that. Um, when you were speaking before, Ghost, about the politics, yeah. you cannot expect... The problem which is which is the politics okay around the world the problem is politics you cannot expect the politicians to fix the politics when that is the problem the that is madness I'd be insane because the problem is politics yeah you can expect the people who create the problem to fix it is politics you can expect the politicians to fix it that's been insane well I must say that I love what you guys did for us here enlightening our people here on our show tonight you have an next right caller. and of course we're going to try to get you back here soon we have a next caller caller call her live hi good night every ghost showing every yes, um, yes, um, yes, um are you in me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, every have a little problem following um the, the the people and them there boy you know how come you're, you're, you're tuning late or something i'm tuning about half an hour now and i'm listening to them all right I, I, uh, i'm listening you, to them did you watch I, the show last I week monday them. yes i watched it last week monday right. and I, i still i still ain't following them boy I, all I, right you know. basically basically right queen elizabeth is a whole right <laughs> god goes <laughs> <laughs> Queen Elizabeth had no authority to give Eric Williams no island or, or, or all the Caribbean islands repub- to become republic or, or independent the, there wasn't it wasn't hers in the first place to give them True. yeah you understand it's like all right I take it here we can't get it yeah it come like that so it's fraud so basically all we're living under right it's not unvoid it, it's a fraud or what or our our um constitution everything and what the paper and write on everything is fraud so right now what we're living in right now is fraud right so basically oh. the indigenous people right they are the authority the authority in the, the country is what they what the based land. on the documents that they have here and we okay, we now? we in the what is called the thing the, the what is the system name again the corporation the corporation we're in a corporation that is a fraud right So this is yeah, what we're trying to yeah. explain to people that the corporation that we're living in this, this society that we're living in everything about it is a fraud even our government uh, system everything is a fraud correct uh, how, what 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 suggestion are for fixing that because here you ask that question just now but no they I have their own the... they have their own constitution with laws and bylaws on how to 
how they will govern this country once the once the corporation. Well, sure. corporation. I have a problem with that word, but look, just say corporation. Yeah, that once the corporation is removed, they have a whole constitution to replace that. So they're gonna read it out for read it tonight. Now nah, we don't have all that time. We'll have no, to invite yeah, yeah. them back because we'll, we'll, no, we'll give them the um. The link. The, the, the link with the, the website. Link, yeah, everything. we're going to give you guys the link with we'll the We'll give you the link and the website and the numbers you can get in touch with them. Right? All right. And I hear, I hear them make a statement to the thing that, um, like, if somebody kills somebody, like the police, they don't know the right to arrest them and thing. Mm-hmm. I, I don't understand. I tell you that I'm not a lot of people trying to follow. We, we didn't say kill. I tried. I try to right. follow, but like I, I, like I can't, I can't yeah, follow. Yeah, what? Right. All right. After, 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 after the leave, we will try to explain it and break it down for you guys, right? All right. Okay then. Okay. Anyway, heavy goes and showing. Good night. All you know, I always tune in. Don't mind I do call. I'm always tune in, and I just want to say good night and always keep up the good work. Cause you have real people out here following all you, right? All right. Thank you very Remember much. Tell, if not, Remember I tell Ollie that in the beginning when Ollie was getting respondent and wanted done and thing and I tell him Ollie just now this program will be biggest thing. Yeah. You see for yourself. Thank all you right, Ollie, have a blessed night. All right, yeah, all right. Thank you, you very much. We have another call on there. Good night, good night, good night. everyone. Um so I have a question because this thing again blowing my mind <laughs> this independence that we're going and celebrate coming up here i started celebrating that about three years ago i don't want to lie about no, three, what, three to four years i will deal with it because all we really and truly get is a flag you know yep what are we independent about that is one right if it is how come we don't have our rival date? Where is our rival date? That is two, three. How uh, come we don't have any indigenous statues or African statues anyway in Trinidad? But you have Columbus. Yep, that murder, that rapist, so, that thief. So I want to find out. What should we really be celebrating? Um, the chiefs, if they could let us know, because I know they know a lot of the history and stuff, and a lot of people in the comments, as the young lady, but the woman who called before stated, a lot of them like they still want to be under that mental slavery. Yeah, they, 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 they don't want to let it go. I don't know what it is about being yeah. a slave, but they don't want to let it go. So I want them to to, to basically let us know what it is we're supposed to be, you know, kind of saying that is we own what we have that we could say is we own thank you all right thanks again yeah well basically the (laughs) celebrating what we should be celebrating right um hmm. we should be celebrating our culture our ancient culture before the invaders came to this land and tried to trick us out our birthright (laughs) right that's what we should be celebrating. It certainly isn't the date that the date uh, independence is on, right? And at this point, I think celebrations kind of in a, in a, uh, it off in the distance a bit because here we have a uh, island with at least 1.4 million people, and you could count the amount of people who brain still has some fire in it, right? So. Mm-hmm. It's a daunting task as it seems, but um, what we should be doing or celebrating, but I, don't, I can't find anything to be <laughs> celebrating <laughs> other than agriculture, to be quite honest. Yeah. Right? We have nothing to celebrate. Yeah. It has nothing to celebrate it's about to be more them than... and the corporation. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So, because, your, yeah. because your independence was taken away from you in the first place and given you something called independent, independent on them. You are dependent on them on England. Wow. You're independ- you, are de- you are independent already. It was taken away from you. They cannot give you independence. Yeah. <laughs> it so, was taken away from you. So we are looking to wrap up. So we want to get to the last words before you, um, we exit. So, um, Chief, 
Give them all the last words, give them all the information, yeah, give them all the numbers. Well, we to, um, and so they can link up with you. And then we're gonna go for a break and Dr. then Mian Go is gonna take it home. Go on. Well, um mm, greetings, Dr. Lewis, by the way. I see you. Yeah, man. Um what we basically uh, do we have an next caller? You take it? Yeah, take the call. Call it live. Yeah, good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night, good night chief. Yeah, yeah. Greetings. Um, yeah, be good. Yeah, brother. I, I, lo- I love all your boys. Blessing. Uh, Send back the love straight to you. It's real, real education. And what you know, thank you all the time. Remember, step to the street. Yeah. Cooperation. Make it happen. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, boy. You went back there, boy? <laughs> but, bro, that's what the program Yeah, boy. That's what it is, boy. Program, we're from small, you know. In this program world. From small, you boy. Can't, can't break through this, this lie, this big, this big colonial lie that, that, that Eric Williams spoke with your mind. You understand? The veil, the, the colonial veil, I call it the colonial veil. Let's get it off all the faith. See through that. You understand? People who understand it's so long you watching, you watching all these same master movies, Hollywood bringing to you. The same Hollywood that fooling all you, bringing all the movies now. Let's can't get it together. Hmm. Only, have, only have a best program. Hmm. Only have a best program. Go to heavy. Yeah, brother. No respect. Yes, only thank you, love. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Respect. Yeah, yeah man. So, it, in closing, um, what I'd like to say is this. Our mantra is, there is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. And now, the idea of us becoming our own autonomous self, self-reliant, right? The idea of that, the time has come for that to become a reality. It is happening. It's been happening. And it will continue to happen. Right, so those of you who want to the contacts, you're supposed to be familiar with the contacts by now. Contacts remain the same. A lot of people responded since the last time we were here. We thank you for your interest and concern and for being awake in this time and aware in this time because oh, you man. is a part of the solution. We give thanks for that. Give them the number again and your oh, own. the number is um three uh three four six four eight eight five. And um seven seven six one 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 eight seven. The call it will be end up the same place anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Any number you call in the same place. And yes, the, the um the response from last week was very website. overwhelming. Give my website. Yeah. I really want them here. One more time. The website. Oh, just type in Chief Minwab on Google. That is Chief Normal Spelling C H I E F Min M I N is one word. Wa'ab, W-A-A-B is another word. And you get all the um, all the information that you need. And then you can call the numbers and if you want to go further. Yeah? Oh, there's the numbers in the chat by, yeah, well, by me. I'm not there, but I mean, but yeah, that's the numbers in the chat. All right? So yeah, give thanks out there to Radio Land. There's indigenous people. We give you thanks for your listening here. Yeah. And we out. All right, we're going to take a break. I'm going to come right back. Keep it locked right here to Ranks Entertainment. We're going to be back. You, you, you could do your-